Hi, it's your Teltonica router and reachable again. In this guide, we will take you through the simple steps to recover your RUTC or any other Teltonica router using the bootloader. But first, let me explain what the bootloader is and why it's important. Think of the bootloader as the starting point for your device. It loads the system software after the device starts up. The bootloader mode is accessible before the device operating system starts. In this state, you can update both the device OS and the bootloader's version. The bootloader is often the last option to recover your device. By the end of this guide, you will be ready to update or reinstall your router software using the bootloader. But before we start, there are a couple of steps that we need you to complete. First, you need to download the latest firmware for the RUTC device. You can check our guide for detailed steps on how to download it. Next, we need to set up a static IP address on our PC. When the bootloader is active, the device will not function in its usual mode. All standard services, including DCP, will be disabled. So you need to manually configure a static IP address on your PC to connect. The default IP address is this one, so your PC must be within the same subnet. To achieve this, we will use the following configuration. Uh, don't forget that your PC's IP cannot be the same as the device's. In addition, using the reserved IP addresses is not permitted. Uh, the process may vary depending on the operating system. I will show you the process for three most common ones. First, we need to open the network's connections. Press the Windows key, type run, and press enter. In the run dialog, type the following command and click OK. This will open the network's connections window. Find the network interface connected to your router, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the networking tab, find Internet Protocol version 4, double-click on it to open its properties. Set a static IP address. Select Use the following IP address, and then enter the following details. Click OK and then close the window to save your changes. Your static IP address is now set. Let's move on to the Linux setup. First, click on the connections icon in the top right corner. Then, press the wired connections via settings. Next, press the gear icon. After that, click on IPv4 tab. Select IPv4 method to manual. In the address field, insert your IP address. We will use the following configuration. Click Apply. Turn the interface off and back on again. The interface should be now configured. And finally, let's look into the Mac configuration method. Go to System Settings, Network, select your active connection, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, click Details, TCP, IP tab, change Configure IPv4 to Manual, and enter the following IP address information. Click OK, your static IP is now configured. Next, you will need to reach the device's bootloader menu. To do so, unplug the device's power supply unit and leave only one LAN cable plugged in. The other LAN ports and the WAN Ethernet port have to remain unplugged for the duration of this procedure. Press and hold the reset button. Plug the power supply back in while holding the reset button for 3 to 5 seconds. After this, all LEDs should start blinking. Now you can enter the bootloader menu. Open your web browser and enter your device IP address into the URL field. Upload the firmware image and click Update Firmware button. After completing this step, you should see a window like this. That means that the update has started and you can close the window. The update takes just a few seconds and the router will restart afterwards. Don't forget to change back your IP address information, otherwise it could cause problems with device connections or internet access if you haven't specified any DNS servers manually. Well, that wraps up our guide on using the bootloader. Remember, we share many technical guides on our channel to help you maintain and improve your Teltonica networking devices. Want to learn more? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video if it helped.